You're watching the news from Bahrain Television. A very good evening. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended yesterday the Manama Capital of Gulf Tourism 2016 launch event, which was held under his patronage at the iconic Bab al Bahrain landmark in Manama. During the event, the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid bin Rashid Ziyani, announced an initiative by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to renovate and revitalize areas of Bab al Bahrain and the old Manama Souq. The initiative forms part of the Crown Prince's commitment to supporting and maintaining the Kingdom's heritage and improving services for citizens. The initiative will be implemented under the supervision of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority in cooperation with the Old Souk Committee of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry. During the event, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince praised the launch of the event from the location of Bab al-Bahrain, which is considered a symbolic landmark and an important location for Bahrain's commercial trade. His Royal Highness added that the renovation of the Manama Souk is an important aspect of enhancing commercial trade and tourism in the kingdom, and that the Souk has become an important tourist attraction due to its connection to Bahrain's history and development. His Royal Highness highlighted that Bahrain's rich cultural heritage has contributed to Bahrain becoming a global and GCC tourist destination. His Royal Highness further praised the GCC's efforts towards strengthening and supporting cooperation across a range of areas which has contributed to Manama's selection as the capital of Gulf Tourism 2016. In this regard, His Royal Highness noted GCC countries' efforts to promote the tourism sector to support wider GCC economies. His Royal Highness then commended the growth of Bahrain's tourism sector and the development of associated services that support its growth, in particular the implementation of the new e-visa policies over the last two years. His Royal Highness noted that e-visa reform has contributed to the increase in the number of various countries' citizens who are able to enter Bahrain without delay and that it has contributed to the attraction of investment within the tourism sector. The event, which was attended by a large number of guests and various officials, began with a speech given by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, which highlighted the Kingdom's leadership's unwavering support to the tourism sector. His Excellency further highlighted the pride expressed by the Kingdom of Bahrain in the selection of its capital Manama as the 2016 capital of Gulf Tourism by the GCC Ministers of Tourism. The Minister stressed that the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism will continue its endeavors to further develop the Kingdom's tourism sector and its continued collaboration with GCC partners to support the tourism sector. The Minister then noted that a number of programs and initiatives suited to both individuals and families will be announced to mark Manama Capital of Gulf Tourism 2016. A short documentary about Bahrain's rich culture and history was also presented at the event, which highlighted the Kingdom's tourist attractions and the historical milestones achieved by the Kingdom. The Kingdom's Ministry of Interior Police Cavalry participated in the event and various shows of cultural folk art were presented by the Galali Band. The event also featured a fireworks display. مملكة دستورية مد إليها كلتا يدي ورفعها إلى سماء الديمقراطية حمد بن عيسى بن سلمان حر 
أبى إلا أن يحلق في سماء الحرية فكان له ما أراد بميثاق باركت خطواته موافقة شعبية رفع العلم والعلم وأوقد العزيمة والهمم رفع صرح الإعلام والصحافة فكفل للحرية حقها أنعش السياحة فانتعشت الأرض رغدا جعل من الحرس الوطني عيونه التي يرى بها وبسط للأمن سحابة كفوفه فثبت حماة الجيش في صفوفه ترفق بصحة شعبه ومعيشته فأجرى قلبه نهرا أجلس شعبه على ضفافه مد الأرض للمرأة سهولا قدرا فتدفق عطاؤها كالجداول حمد بن عيسى بن سلمان رجل الأفعال عندما تصمت أفعال الرجال His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received at Ghulaybiya Palace today the American Ambassador to Bahrain, William Roebuck. The meeting discussed fields of cooperation and coordination and ways to enhance them further between the two friendly countries to build on the existing strategic ties. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince confirmed the importance of supporting ways to reinforce regional security and stability in addition to solving tensions that could harm the pillars of peace principles that the international community believe in based on understanding and mutual respect for the sovereignty of all countries and their decisions. His Royal Highness also reviewed with the Ambassador regional developments and issues of common interest in addition to ways of reinforcing security and stability in the region and ongoing efforts to eliminate terrorism in all its forms. 
For his part, the U.S. Ambassador expressed thanks to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his keenness to further consolidate bilateral relations, highlighting the continuous development in ties and joint cooperation. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the West Asian Athletics Association and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the achievement of earning the silver medal of the International Association of Athletics Federation of Cross Countries Championship in Italy. His Highness Sheikh Khalid lauded the outstanding level and performance of the runner, Ruth Jebet, and expressed pride in the achievement which contributes to the series of accomplishments that the runner had achieved. He added that the achievement that Bahrain made in 2015 in the field of sports drives the kingdom to continue to make more achievements in this field. His Highness said that the Olympic Games that will be held in Rio de Janeiro in 2016 in Brazil is of the most important stations of the Federation in the current year and affirmed his keenness to support all participants, expressing his confidence in them in achieving the best results. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa opened today behind Modern House International Exhibition in the presence of a number of ministers, MPs, senior officials and guests. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah confirmed the government's vision to diversify sources of income by encouraging the private sector to organize exhibitions that contribute in the gross domestic product. He commended the advanced level of organization of the second edition of the Modern House Exhibition commending the efforts of First Target Company in organizing the event. Last year's inaugural edition attracted around 8,000 visitors and featured 65 exhibitors over an area of 3,500 square meters. This year, there are 77 exhibitors covering an area of 4,500 square meters, and visitor numbers are also expected to be higher. He also highlighted the Kingdom of Bahrain's keenness to enhance administrative organization and strategic planning through hosting and organizing more exhibitions, highlighting the royal decree of establishing Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority. He said the step followed by the cabinet's decision to set up the board of the authority is out of keenness to partner with the governmental and private sectors related to travel and tourism. The deputy premier said the idea of establishing an exhibition city in Sukhir is still a priority for the coming phase out of the belief in the importance of developing and supporting this industry. For anybody who will come to our exhibition, he will find whatever he wants for his house. If it's electric or furniture or, or land he wanted or house. So it would be easy for uh, the visitor to find whatever they want. This year is 4,500 and the exhibitor is 77. Uh, it's from Bahrain, from all the Gulf we have. Uh, from uh, Germany, from Italy, from 
America we have it. We try and bring in as much as we can. And from Turkey, there is Egypt, India, we have uh, all they are here. The Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, today attended a course graduation ceremony at the Special Security Force Command. Upon arrival, the minister was received by Chief of Public Security and Commander of Special Security Forces. The ceremony began with a speech delivered by the Commander of Special Security Force, in which he welcomed the attendance of the Interior Minister and briefed the audience on the program of the course, which included combat missions, shooting, and combat violence. The graduates conducted maneuvers to display their advanced training and skill. The interior minister commended the sacrifices and competence of policemen, confirming appreciation and pride in everyone's commitment to perform their national duties out of their responsibility to preserve security through enforcing law and public order. He said that security responsibility is a national duty that protects people's lives and properties and which requires dedication to preserve national gains that have been made under the reign of His Majesty the King. والمباني اي بتكون سرعة النزول عالية ويستطيع من خلالها الفرد الرماية للأسفل هذا العام تقدم الأقسام بالآليات المسلحة الكوبرا وآليات الهمر لعزل وتطبيق القرية وإغلاق أطفال مهارة تعبوية عالية أثناء الاقتحام واستخدام الإشارات للحرب The interior minister then honored the excellent graduates and congratulated them on their good results, wishing them continued success in serving the homeland. The first phase of a new e-system for the enforcement of civil judgment has been launched today to facilitate and speed up finalizing working measures to close and complete legal execution files. The advanced system is the fruit of cooperation between the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments and the Supreme Judicial Council in cooperation with the Informatics and e-Government Authority in line with the Supreme Judicial Council's 2020 strategy. The new online service will, in, will give individuals the ability to settle any outstanding financial claims online without resorting to a court order in order to lift the travel ban, which will effectively streamline the process and reduce procedural costs. This new portal reflects Bahrain's landmark technological strides as it links four government entities and seven other government authorities into a single system, delivering better and timely service to citizens and residents of Bahrain while reducing spending, which is in line with the directives of the Kingdom's leadership.
Uh, one of the things that uh, we are trying to achieve is to get rid of lots of uh, delays that sometimes occur because of we are using papers. Uh, one of the uh, measurements that we uh, use is uh, how far we are automated and how we can use the automation also to uh, manage the cases in front of the judiciary. In fact, we uh, today we are getting uh, lawyers on board uh, as one team with us uh, and initiate the services uh, for, for them and also for the public. Now anyone can go uh, online and check whether he's banned on traveling or not. He can raise uh, or lift the ban just by uh, payment through uh, the EGOV. Uh, also, uh, if any case that are related to enforcement can be followed up or even can be initiated by uh, the Internet. So uh, what we are witnessing in Bahrain is a new uh, system that is really uh, superseding most of the systems that are uh, around us. We haven't seen... From, from my knowledge, to have a system that is co uh, completely and compre comprehensively uh, electronic. We are happy today to launch the uh, execution uh, services for the uh, court uh, system. It's a um, uh, fully integrated system that uh, starts with uh, applying the uh, uh, to the uh, cases and uh, uh, for the execution, uh, electronic payment, tracking system. Uh, the uh, judges can open the case, uh, comment on them or take a decision and then uh, the uh, notifications goes back to the uh, uh, lawyers. Uh, that's the beginning with the execution and we are uh, hoping to extend that to the uh, other courts. The BDF Task Force 2 continues its participation in Operation Restore Hope in support of the Yemeni legitimacy within the Saudi-led Arab coalition. Bahrain's Defense Force plays a main role in the liberated Yemeni governorates, as BDF forces are deployed in important fronts to secure vital buildings, as well as contribute in training the National Yemeni Army. Earlier this week, BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa visited the Saudi region of Jazan to inspect Bahraini forces, participating in the Saudi-led Arab coalition. He listened to a detailed briefing on the progress of operations and inspected a number of BDF military vehicles and jet fighters participating in the operations there. <laughs> 